Hi, I'm Nicholas Al, and welcome to The Beauty of the Real. You're seeing two movies tonight by a great actress named Valeria Bruni Tedeschi you've probably never heard of, or a lot of people have never heard of in the United States. The film you're about to see right now is called Five Times Two. It was directed by Francois Ozon. It's from 2004. And before they made the movie, Ozon had uh, dinner with uh, Valeria, and he said to her, I will give you this role on one condition, you have to consent to be beautiful. You have to allow yourself to be beautiful. And she knew what this meant because in her roles she generally goes against glamour, goes you know, to the frumpy, goes to the messed up, goes to the degraded. And, uh, and he said, I don't want you to do that. I want you to, to be beautiful. I want you to just bring on the beautiful from inside too. And uh, she knew what this meant and she decided, yes, that she would take the role. Ozon said that, that he thought that part of her reluctance about a kind of admitting to her own beauty and going in that direction was because her sisters Carla Bruni and, and perhaps Valeria felt that, you know, Carla has the, the glamour part taken care of and she's something else. Maybe she's the interesting one or something like that. Well, she certainly is the interesting one, but I think she's also the beautiful one, uh, as you'll see in this film. Uh, this movie is uh, arranged in an odd way. It's about a marriage, great film about a marriage, but it's it's done uh, chronologically backwards. So it starts off with uh, with the divorce, and then it works its way through the courtship, and it uh, turns out to be a novel and, and and very good way of telling this particular story. Because they did it that way, and because the passage of time there's a passage of time, but it, it's actually backwards time. What they did is between the third and fourth episode, uh, they all went on diets. They took 10 weeks off, went on diets, and uh, so Tedeschi lost 15 pounds and does look radiantly young at the end of the movie, much younger than she does at the beginning. But it's not only weight, it's not only being in shape, it's what she brings to it. It's, a, it's how she re radiates an unclouded spirit at the end of the film and radiates a clouded spirit at the beginning of the film too. Anyway, this is a marvelously sensitive and intuitive actress, and uh, I invite you to enjoy her in 5 times 2 from 2004.